Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global equity markets are a lot lower this morning following on for Friday's non-farm payrolls. It came out a lot better than expected at 295 versus uh, 240 uh, as the expectation. So that came in much better. Plus the uh, unemployment um, percentage dropped as well. Um, all in all pointing to a potential uh, summer uh, rate hike over in the US uh, with the treasury markets potentially looking as soon as June being priced in but that obviously changes more macro fundamental data releases come out of the US and there is uh, um, another statement getting released by the Fed on the 18th of March uh, which everybody will be looking at exactly the type of rhetoric that is um, is utilized specifically the removal of the term uh, patience uh, in regards to uh, interest rates in the US. So the US 30 obviously having a, a massive negative candle right there, fully bearish engulfing pattern, breaking through multiple levels of support uh, and 21 period SMA just shy of that 55 period SMA. Certainly as long as we're below 17895 that's negative opening up a pathway to 17738 um, as we have crossover the MACD and across on the slow stochastic as well. So from a technical perspective, um, chart not looking so great. And obviously this is uh, just a short term shock from, uh, from a, an earlier potential rate hike, which people think will, will potentially dampen demand. Um, with the US dollar increasing in value, it's uh, actually having a negative impact on real wages in the US, which haven't increased for some time. So there's a lot of negative aspects attached to that. So if we have a look at the, uh, for that region, so if we have a look at the UK 100, you can see bullish engulfing pattern, uh, failure to break through resistance, broken through potential support at 69.06. Uh, not quite as a staunch, uh, not quite such a negative um, pattern as what, what we saw on the US 30 there, the UK 100s looking a little bit better, you know, as we were literally at an all-time high there uh, just a, a couple of sessions ago. We have broken through a potential trend line, but that trend line was maybe not that great to begin with, but uh, trading below 69.06 uh, is a little bit uh, harsh in the short term because that also brings us below the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are actually re relatively neutral. MACD has been flat for a while. Slow stochastic had a, a, a signal to sell, but that was a number of sessions ago. So if we can get ahead above 69.06, then UK 100 might be okay. Failing that, there's actually quite a big gap between this level and the next potential support at 67.71. Moving on to Japan 225, and of the dollar yen has been all over the place since um, the non farm payrolls figure came out. Uh, we were trading above 121 at one point, uh, but most global equity markets are a little bit down in the back of uh, that interest rate. Um, thought process just now but certainly look at this uh, this formation we had there on Friday it spiked up a lot higher as the yen began to run out of steam there are inflationary pressures uh, attached to uh, the Japanese yen right now which uh, the some uh, Japanese bank governors have said they're gonna have to address at some point um, so that is quite firmly a doji formation right there but uh, 18648 is the next potential support level to be aware of so if we jump on to that dollar yen position you can just see where we were finally breaking above the, the highs right here from September uh, we're still trading above that right now. 121.87 is the potential resistance level to be aware of. And as that spikes higher, Japan 25 should move higher as well. So moving on to uh, West Texas crude. Latest report for Goldman Sachs seems to indicate that they are expecting a $40 a barrel move at some point. Uh, albeit most of these uh, investment banks do come out with uh, all sorts of crazy targets. City Bank came out with a target not that long ago with a value much lower than that. But um, with... The, the US dollar moving the way that it is, crude oil inventory has been incredibly high. Uh, things like that are outweighing things like uh, trouble over in Libya and uh, price increases in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. But nevertheless, we are kind of floating around this $50 range. Um, that seems to be a potential pivot area for us to be aware of. $55 is potential resistance or 54.85 and 43.29 is actually the next potential support level from a technical perspective. Gold got absolutely smashed on Friday. Real horrible candle formation right there, breaking, smashing through 11.86. Uh, we're now almost between two new ranges of 11.37 and 11.86. Broken support now expected to act as resistance. Death costs and moving averages. Other technicals are uh, quite oversold just now, but no reversal signal as of yet. The slow stochastic actually had a had a reversal signal a number of sessions ago, so it's probably going to go back into oversold territory. But the fundamental factors are 
uh, if the interest rate hike is going to happen sooner rather than later, uh, gold doesn't like uh, higher rates in the US uh, and that will continue to weigh. But basically, just keep your eye on any US data that's going to support the view that we're going to have an early rate hike or not. Um, we'll come back to the second of data announcements in a minute. Uh, moving on to your dollar, uh, your dollar uh, a lot lower, uh, one spot 0786 is the next potential support followed by one spot zero two and that's obviously quite a, a, a big load of move to get down to that almost close to parity uh, it has obviously been lower than that uh, historically but we need to wait and see how things uh, transpire it's got to get below one spot zero seven eighty six first um, before you have to start worrying about what that next support level is and certainly it wouldn't be that surprising to see some bounces off here and this is like uh, 2003 lows that you're seeing right here so uh, it's, it's a significant move for the euro good for the eurozone countries I guess because it makes their goods more uh, competitive gets more tourism there etc etc so uh, it's actually going to be helping the eurozone rather than hindering it to a certain extent especially when it comes to a lot of their debts. So looking at GBPUSD to finish things off, uh, very similar picture, breaking through one spot at 51.85. Really the long term support, one spot 48.13 is, uh, yeah, is very 20. much in play. Technicals uh, are just a bit, matter for the technicals actually here show there could be further room for maneuver. We're just crossing the zero line right here. The RSI is just going into oversold. Um, but stochastic is actually a good bit away from being oversold as well, so um, there could be uh, some further moves. We could just be reversing this moving average right here to post a death cross, so uh, lots of interesting moves. So, economic data wise, there's nothing really today of any significance. As fast forward on Tuesday, you've got Chinese uh, CPI. Again, nothing much. Moving on to Wednesday, you've got more Chinese data. Crude oil inventories, again, not a huge amount of extra data. And then move on to the 12th of March, and we've got CPI uh, from Germany, which will be quite interesting, and also industrial production and uh, US unemployment claims and retail sales. So it does uh, promise to be a, fa a fair amount of stuff on Thursday, the 12th of March. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights popular going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.